today we will look at the assets of the Daystar Television Network, which is headed by Miss Joni Lamb, who is now Joni Lamb Weiss because she married Doug Weiss recently. And of course, these documents came from 2011, they're public records, so that's why I was able to find these documents. As you can see from 2011, you can see the total donation contribution revenue was $28 million. Total broadcasting revenue was over $50 million. Total assets, $233,253,872.16. You can also see this document here which also has their revenue at $53 million. They star television network total fixed assets, 2011, $51 million. Also, we have here, remember Joni's book, Surrender All, it became a bestseller. Now, how did that happen? Well, they bought, Daystar bought $125,000 worth of books which made it a bestseller, and uh, they said they were going to use it as a gift if people made a donation. So <laughs> anyway, that's how her, her uh, book became a bestseller. People do that. They buy, if they have a lot of money, they buy the book. So it gets like number one on the New York Times bestseller list. And then they can say that they had a book on the New York Times bestseller. <laughs> They yeah. have total fixed assets at $51 million, quite lucrative. And here we have Joni Lamb's house, her 7,000 square foot house, and her, a picture that it's not their actual jet, but that is their jet, a Gulfstream, and it's probably a $4 million jet. It seats up to 14 people. Yes, yeah, so that they fly around in a big, beautiful jet and you fly coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's the interior. That's not exactly their interior, but that is an interior of a Gulfstream jet. I believe it's a Gulfstream 5000. And it's very luxurious, as you can see. And that's another picture of what the interior could look like. There you can see the cockpit. There's the jet taking off. There you have Joni's mansion again. So keep those donations rolling in so we can preach the gospel. <laughs> oh, dear. that's where your money is going. God bless, and thanks for listening, okay? Bye for now. Don't forget to check out our weekly broadcast on Spreaker, Prophetic News Radio, and we have two books that are for sale on Amazon, Paula White, President Trump's Pastor, and we reveal the truth about the con artist Paula White, also, Seed Faith Can a Man Bribe God. And Daystar Television Network was very, very into selling miracles. That's how they got people to give those big donations where you send in your Seed Faith gift and you aim your seed and God jumps off the throne and he gives you money and he gives you household salvation and he, he uh, gives you healing for your body. So that's how they made most of their money. It's not right. And uh, hope they repent.